Tonight, new information into a deadly New Year's Day shooting that shocked friends and family of 26 year old Teresa Shields. Police say someone armed with a high powered rifle shot Shields as she rode in a car in Middletown. And that's just the beginning of the disturbing evidence uncovered by nine on your side anchor Julie O'Neill in this I team unsolved case. She was beautiful inside and out, extremely loving, caring. Dale Shields talks publicly for the first time since his daughter Teresa was murdered in dramatic fashion in the early morning hours of January 1st. Riding along Roosevelt Boulevard near Wyckoff Street in Middletown, her boyfriend Steve Walden at the wheel. Suddenly police say gunfire from a high-powered rifle comes from a vehicle driving by them. Walden, currently locked up on drug charges, survives his injuries. Teresa does not. We're confident she was not the intended victim, but because of Stevie's activities, uh, he was a target and she ended up paying a price for it. The vigil that night gives you some sense of the giver Teresa was. To friends, family, and even her clients, Teresa worked tirelessly in home care, says her mother, Tina. She would buy things for them with her own money, things that they needed. Lieutenant Scott Reeve needs help fitting the pieces of the puzzle police now have in Teresa's murder into a solid case for prosecution. We're fortunate that we do have the vehicle that the perpetrator was shooting from. And Reeve says he has suspects. It's just a question of whether or not we can bring the case together because a lot of people will talk to us, but very few people want to testify in court. Think about it for just a second if it was your child. Dale and Tina Shields make a plea, hoping one courageous person will speak for their daughter. Because Teresa would have did it for them in a heartbeat. I want to walk to her grave and tell her, baby, we got him. Right now, Lieutenant Reeve says they're waiting on cell phone evidence and results of DNA testing. Meantime, he says they're always begging for information. You can reach lead detective Steve Winters at 513-425-7786. I just tweeted that out at Julie O'Neill, WCPO.